What is up guys, today is November 4th, 2014, and uh, today I'm going to be making this video for two reasons. Uh, the first one is to test out um, the camera on our new iPod Touch 4, which is what I'm using now, and also to give you guys some updates. So, um, before I get into the specifics of the video, I'm just going like, to give you guys a few quick um, updates. Um, first, um, I apologize if... Uh, you know, I haven't had too much activity on YouTube. I've been trying to stay, you know, pretty updated and stuff. And, and I think I've been doing a pretty good job of that. I go on YouTube pretty much every day. But um, my backlog folder is filled up. Um, and I just have not had a lot of time to work on uh, new videos and edit them and stuff and get them uploaded. Uh, school has been keeping me real busy. There's been a lot of stuff going on at my church as we're transitioning into uh, trying to find a new senior pastor. Um, so I've, I've been kind of, you know, like keeping up with that and stuff. I've been uh, trying to contact Charlestown Mall for a few weeks now, uh, on regards to obtaining the, f uh, the fire alarm system when the renovations go on, and I will give you guys an update about that in a few minutes. So those are just some quick updates, other than that, Halloween was on Friday. Um, for those of you who do go trick-or-treating, I hope you got a lot of candy. Um, and, uh, also daylight savings time ended over the weekend. Uh, we changed the clocks on Sunday, and I am not too happy about it. Um, you know, the only advantage to it is that we've got some extra daylight in, um, the, the morning when I get up for school. But, um, currently it is. I'll see how good of a job my, uh, my camera does with my phone. It is only 546 right now. And... It is absolutely pitch black outside. All you can see is a car lights down the street. And uh, my dad is gone at work now. He's doing some overtime. Um, but unfortunately, I am, you know, I'm not very happy about that at all. It is only almost 6 o'clock now, and it is, it is completely dark outside, which really puts me off. You know, I, you know, I really love that extra hour of daylight time. Um... And unfortunately, we're just starting to, to close out the year. We're, you know, in fall. All the leaves are falling. Actually, like, most of them have already fallen. And in a month or so here, we're going to be seeing snow. We actually uh, saw snow on like, Halloween, I think. So that was uh, absolutely crazy. Of course, it all, like, melted away within a few minutes. But it was crazy that we actually saw snow falling on Halloween. That is uh, definitely out of, out of uh, the normal. So, um, there you guys go. Those are some quick updates. Um, before I go into the other updates, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys something here. I, I told you guys I'm filming on a different camera. This is our new iPod Touch 4. New to us, anyway. Um, and uh, I'm not sure what quality this thing's going to be uploading in. It'll probably only be 480 since it's only an iPod Touch 4. I'm guessing this thing's from, like, you know, 2009, 2010 or something. Um, this still, this thing still runs iOS 6. I don't think it can be updated to iOS 8. I've tried to do that, and, uh, uh, it doesn't appear I can, but, uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys it here. My dad bought this thing. Hi, uh, you guys can see that it's clearly an iPod Touch. Hi. Um, my, my dad bought this thing so we could listen to some music in the car, but I just wanted to see how good it was, so I decided to borrow it here. I was the one who transferred all... Um, the iTunes music over to it, and then we, my, my dad's got a little jack he plugs into the car, and, uh, he, he can program it to, uh, play the music off of, uh, the iPod. Uh, be before that, we were using his iPhone 4. He actually just got upgraded to an iPhone 6 from his work, which he does not like too much compared to his, even compared to his 4S. He said it's just as bad as his 4S was as far as speed and everything. So, um... But there you guys go, uh, I'm recording on uh, the iPod Touch 4, as I said. Um, so I, I apologize about the lighting. Um, you guys have watched some of my videos and complained about the lighting. I, I can't do very much about that um, until this uh, stupid bulb in my ceiling fan burns out. I'm not sure what, what the, uh, the wattage on this bulb is, but um, it does not put out a lot of light. And my room is always extremely dark, especially in uh, the video, so I, I apologize for that. Um, I would use the flash if this thing had one, but uh, that's a downside to the iPod Touch 4, is that it does not have a flash. Um, so anyway, um, first I'm going to go ahead and do some quick camera tests for you guys, and then we're going to move into some much bigger updates that I think you guys should know about. 
not too many of them, but, um, to start off, we're going to be testing the fire alarm system here. You guys have not seen a fire alarm test here for a while. Um, not much has changed. I decided to put back on the 2901-9838 with the 4904-9105 strobe. Um, I did change the pitch on the, uh, the horn because I thought when I first got it, it was a bit low pitch, and I found out how to bend the tab uh, on the back to make it a bit higher pitch and sound like more like the horns at my school. Um, so that uh, that's done. I changed out the uh, 2099-9756 for one of my MBG-12 LOs, and uh, the, the 4251-20 is still here on Zone 2. I did rearrange my fire alarm corner a little bit. That's why you guys see the smokes up here. Uh, we found an, an extra can of uh, dry sm uh, smoke in the back of my dad's van, so he said he just said keep that. Um, not that I've got a lot of use for it now since these smokes, you know, I don't think they'll work anymore. But uh, I completely re rearranged my fire alarm corner back here. I, I moved my uh, System 3 control board back here and all, all the System 3 parts I got for sale as well as the, you guys can't see them very well, as well, the, as, well as the two Wheelock WMT-24 strobes I have for sale. Are right here and the rest of my farm collection is here I you know just rearranged all of it um, you know and I think I made it look pretty nice so um be before we get too off topic I'm just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna go, go ahead and see how good of a job this camera does picking up this alarm test um, panels on continuous I think I haven't touched the system in a few days so I think the panels on continuous we're just gonna give this a quick run here um, just to make it easier on myself, we'll pull the 4251-20, so here we go. There you guys go. And, uh... You know, I can't say that I'm doing this test late because um, it is only 6 o'clock. So, you know, although I usually don't do tests this, you know, if it was, uh, you know, I usually don't do tests when it's dark outside altogether. But um, for, for, for the second part of the camera test, I'm just going to be doing some, some walking around my house. You guys haven't seen my house too much. So, um, you know, I really don't want to show too much of it because we're in the process of cleaning it for the holidays and stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and, like, walk to the living room. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to show you guys too much of my room either. It's a mess, and I'm going to try and get it ready because I do, I do want to eventually do a room tour. This camera, is I can already tell, it's really not doing too well as far as the lighting. We're going to walk out into the living room here. And uh, this is probably one of the cleanest parts of our house right now. This is our uh, TV back here. All those you guys can see it too well. I like made a video about this a few days ago, which I have not uploaded. But we get, just got a new TV. It's a projection screen, uh, Toshiba, uh, with an HDMI input on it, which works great. And uh, we took our old Hitachi TV. And my dad completely gutted it out, cut it down, and he put um, the top and sides from that old TV onto this one. And he made he cut it down, he put, he put a lot of work into it, and made it look real nice. Then we also have some fall decorations back here on top of the cable box, and we hung a plant. Um, yeah, the rest of the house is pretty much a mess, so I'll show you guys that later. Let's head back into my room here. And, uh... As a look, hi. Um, so I think that that about concludes the camera test part of the video. You guys can see, as far as the lighting, I was really hoping this thing would be a bit better on the lighting. But as you guys can see, I'm really not too impressed, which is why you know I'll probably continue to use my phone and the Sony Blagi for the videos. Um, those those are the two cameras I usually transfer back and forth with. Um, we've also got the iPad, which I don't. I've I've, I've only used that camera in like two videos, so. Um, anyway, um, just to move into some quick other updates for you guys, um, I did mention at the beginning of the video that I have been trying to contact Charlestown Mall in, uh, St. Charles, Illinois, because, um, next year there, if, if you guys will go on my channel, you can find a tour of that mall, it's a dead mall in St. Charles, Illinois, and they're gonna be, like, renovating it, uh, in the spring, 
uh, and it'll become the Quad St. Charles, and I, I, I've been, like, really following up with that renovation a lot, and, uh, I've been trying to contact the people there, uh, to see if I can obtain the old fire alarm parts and possibly the old elevator panel, um, uh, which I believe are all going to be replaced, um, so we, we did go there a few days ago, I, I didn't film anything, but I, I was able to find a security guard, and she basically gave me all, you know, she, she was very helpful, she gave me all the information, uh, as to who I should contact for that, and, uh, she, she said, uh, he, he would be in, uh, Monday, which was yesterday, and she basically told me, um, to contact him, and, uh, she would tell him that I was here, the, uh, director of operations over there at, um, the mall, so, um, so far, I have emailed him, and he has not gotten back to me. So if he doesn't get back to me by uh, tomorrow or whatever, I'm probably just going to go ahead and call him up on the subject. Um, but so far, I am uh, starting to get somewhere like with this whole uh, uh, replacement thing. So um, keep your fingers crossed that I'm able to obtain those parts. I'm, I believe I'm the only one to ask for them. Uh, like keep your fingers crossed that I will be able to obtain the fire alarm and elevator parts from that when they're replaced in the spring. I just thought I should get that planned now. Um, before anything else, um, you know, other than that, I really can't think of any updates, um, any other updates, I think that's the only update I really had for you guys, other than that, things have just been pretty much the same here, um, other than, I guess, you know, just YouTube updates, um, I've been trying to get a lot of stuff uploaded again, uh, it's gonna take me a while, but hopefully I will have some old backlog videos uploaded, they're not too old, but hopefully I will have them up pretty soon, other than that, um, I can't say there's a lot more to say than that. Um, I will keep you guys updated on everything that's going on. Um, I've got some ex exciting content, like coming from the Sheridan Lyle and uh, the Dover Traction Elevators that you guys have probably been waiting to see since last year. Um, and all the stuff that's going on there. So that will hopefully be the next upload. Maybe, maybe not. Um... And I do have some other uploads planned, hopefully, pretty soon, before Christmas uh, and Thanksgiving come around, which is in about three weeks. So, um, thank you guys for watching, and uh, for now, I will say that's it.